From a mystery cave to strange peculiar stone spheres and even a flute believed to have been crafted by Neanderthals, here are some of the most incredible things ever found in the middle of nowhere. The Mystery Cave In a remote region of British Columbia's Wells Gray Provincial Park, researchers in Canada were conducting a helicopter survey in search of caribou. To their astonishment, amidst the serene and sparsely populated landscape of rolling hills and rocky peaks, they stumbled upon an enormous hole in the ground. This opening seemed to be the entrance to an immense cave that had been vertically bored into the Earth's surface, a sight never encountered or documented before. This accidental discovery potentially unveiled the largest cave in Canada. Catherine Hickson, a local geologist, visited the site to personally witness this extraordinary find and was astounded by what she beheld. The mouth of the cave measured a staggering 328 feet in width, enveloped in mist, and plunged to a depth of at least 440 feet. Currently, there is no official name designated for the cave. Scientists are collaborating with representatives from the First Nations, seeking to determine if there exists a traditional name for it. Initially, one of the researchers who first spotted the cave informally referred to it as the Sarlacc Pit drawing a parallel to the pit in which the prisoners were cast in the desert in the Star Wars movie Return of the Jedi. This name has gained popularity in media coverage, and a petition on Change.org is advocating for the Sarlacc Pit to become the cave's official name. The remarkable size of the cave is believed to have been formed by the melting of ice flows, which enter the cave and tunnel for approximately a mile and a half before emerging on the other side. However, due to the remote location, logistical challenges have prevented researchers from fully exploring the depths of this colossal chasm. As a result, the contents of the cave remain a mystery, leaving open the possibility of encountering an enigmatic creatures within its unexplored recesses. Giant Mammoth Leg In Florida last year, on April 25th, a diver made an incredible discovery while pursuing his passion for diving. While exploring the depths of a river located in an isolated area, the diver came across a massive bone belonging to a mammoth. The diver, Derek Demeter, who serves as the director of Seminole State College's Emil Bueller Perpetual Trust Planetarium, frequently dives alongside his friend Henry Sadler, a teacher from Florida, during their leisurely dive into the Peace River. They had no particular expectations other than finding whatever objects lay beneath the water surface. As they navigated through the murky water, Derek's attention was drawn to an impressive sight emerging from the darkness. After a considerable struggle, he successfully retrieved the 4-foot, 1.2-meter artifact from the river and brought it ashore. The bone turned out to be a single leg bone from a colossal Columbia mammoth, weighing approximately 50 pounds, 23 kilograms, estimated to be around 100,000 years old. The bone hails from an era when large furry elephant-like creatures roamed the grasslands of Florida. Derek expressed his awe at unearthing such a fossil, emphasizing the glimpse it offers into the ancient past when these massive creatures roamed the Florida grasslands. The discovery fuels imagination and evokes a sense of wonder, allowing a form of time to travel through the exploration of these remnants. According to Derek, the bone, identified as a femur, will find its place in a classroom rather than being displayed in a museum, as reported by the Miami Herald. Los Lunos Stone in the remote desert of west-central New Mexico, approximately 35 miles south of Albuquerque, an intriguing large boulder rests on the mountainside, adorned with inscriptions in an enigmatic language that remains unintelligible. This peculiar stone goes by various names, such as the Los Lunos Mystery Stone, the Decalogue Stone, and the Commandments Rock. Its first mention in literature dates back to 1933 when archaeologist Frank Hibben wrote about encountering it during a tour. The tour leader claimed to have discovered the boulder in the 1880s, although the actual origin of its awareness remains uncertain. Hibben contended that the text on the stone predated the arrival of Columbus in the Americas, but his credibility was called into question when it was revealed that he altered some archaeological data to support his theories, an opportune circumstance for skeptics. Alternative suggestions regarding the language of the inscription have been put forth, including Paleo-Hebrew or Cryptic Greek. Despite its potential significance, the 80-ton boulder has never undergone laboratory analysis due to the immense challenge of relocating it. Furthermore, the inscriptions have been cleaned multiple times over the years, complicating the possibility of conducting an accurate scientific examination. Nevertheless, some individuals argue that an academic study of the stone would be a futile endeavor, asserting that it is a fabrication devised by Hibben himself and that he may not have actually discovered anything substantial in the first place. Ruins in Israel Recently, drone footage played a crucial role in uncovering a collection of ancient ruins. 
These ruins, constructed 2200 years ago during the Hellenistic period in the 3rd century BC, were attributed to the Idumeans, a group of people who built these enigmatic structures in the region of Israel. Situated amidst low hills, between the mountains and coastal plains, the area was scanned by archaeologists using remote drones, marking the first identification of the site. Subsequently, the archaeologists embarked on an excavation equipped with hammers and chisels to explore the site further. What they unearthed was truly captivating. Inside one of the rooms, they discovered two stone altars, one of which was intricately carved in the form of a bull. This finding led researchers to realize that they were standing within the remains of a once magnificent temple, supported by towering pillars. The bull figure was likely a deity worshipped by the Idumeans. However, a significant mystery remains surrounding the identity of this deity, as few Idumean temples have endured over time. One can count them on a single hand. The Idumeans were descendants of biblical desert nomads who migrated into the mountainous region beyond the Dead Sea and settled there. However, they were subdued by Judas Maccabeus around 100 BC, compelling them to assimilate into the Judean population. The last trace of an Idumean vanished 2,000 years ago. The only scarce information about their culture and history has survived. Neanderthal Flute Music has been an integral part of human existence since ancient times. Some years ago, researchers made a significant discovery, the world's oldest musical instrument. This extraordinary find took place in the remote and eerie cave nestled deep in the wilderness of Slovenia, Europe. The year was 1995, when the unique instrument was unearthed from a Neanderthal fire pit, estimated to be around 60,000 years old. Crafted from the thigh bone of a cave bear, the instrument was meticulously drilled with three holes and sharpened at one end to serve as a mouthpiece. While it defies a precise categorization, it falls somewhere between a flute and a whistle. This discovery challenges previous notions about Neanderthal's engagement with music, revealing a deeper connection to the art form than previously believed. Remarkably, this musical instrument predates any known European flutes by at least 10,000 years. Those flutes made by the first modern humans using bird bones were discovered to be significantly younger. The Neanderthal instrument emerged approximately 30,000 years before their extinction, and humans became the dominant species. Regrettably, the sound produced by this ancient instrument remains unknown to us. We are left to wonder about the melodies and songs that may have accompanied its use, as well as the possibility of other similar instruments from that time. To date, this particular artifact stands as the sole surviving example of its kind. Prehistoric Drawing In Egypt's eastern desert, archaeologist Mahmoud Tony made an astonishing find, a chunk of marble stone adorned with prehistoric drawings. While exploring one of the world's largest and most awe-inspiring deserts, he stumbled upon this remarkable artifact. The drawings on the stone, believed to be from thousands of years ago, depict a hunting scene. Despite the passage of time, this random piece of stone managed to survive in the vast desert until now. The drawing portrays a hunter grasping a weapon in one hand, accompanied by a pair of hunting dogs. They are seen pursuing a massive creature, like an Arabian oryx, one of the prime targets for hunting during prehistoric times. The significance of this discovery lies not only with the artwork itself, but also in its location amidst seemingly desolate surroundings. With no archaeological ruins or traces of civilization nearby, the drawing stands alone as a testament to someone's creative expression etched onto a humble rock. However, this finding also offers valuable insights into the prehistoric era in Egypt's deserts, shedding light on a time when the eastern desert was far from an uninhabited wasteland. Rather, it was a thriving ecosystem teeming with water, vegetation, and wildlife, bustling with hunters and their prey. Strange Stone Balls Scotland and Orkney Islands as well as England, Ireland, and Norway have yielded numerous polished stone balls dating back to the Neolithic era. These stones vary in appearance, with some featuring protrusions, others displaying intricate designs, and some simply being smooth. Initially believed to be weapons, experts now theorize that these balls were primarily artistic creations, potentially representing social status or marking significant life events. In September of the previous year, archaeologists made an intriguing discovery on the island of sand. Two polished stone balls were found within tombs alongside ancient knives potentially used for ceremonial purposes when cutting the remains of the deceased. These stones, estimated to be around 5,500 years old, include one made of black stone and another crafted from a lighter-colored limestone, although less ornate than later Neolithic spheres. As archaeologist Vicky Cummings pointed out, they possess a captivating beauty. Now, which of these discoveries in the middle of nowhere fascinated you the most? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already.